Hello the Darkness 344 here and in today's video I'll be showing you why you should probably stop using this sort of decoder oops <laughs> well I broke it um, and move on to um, say a vertical design like this or like this so first of all um, what does this do well we can take a binary input like this and all it will do is convert it to decimal say for instance well we're inputting zero and we get out zero so we input for instance, a 2, we'll get out a 2. If we input a 3, we'll get out a 3. And so on and so forth. So this design is quite widely used because it's just small, compact, and it works. However, it has some drawbacks. And the first one is that um, it's kind of slow. Because, well, if we look from our input, we have 1 tick, 2 tick, and then 3 ticks in total for this design. And then we also have... Um, a slight problem because some of our inputs only take one tick um, and that means um, you'll also need a repeater uh, on two ticks on the output of this to make sure that you don't have any um, problems with it flashing while changing um, lines so for instance if I like change a line one of the lines uh, might flash a bit so um, this decoder is a bit too small to demonstrate but it does happen on larger decoders because um, just because your inputs um, may activate some lines by accident and um, while changing and that's just a bit annoying um, you can improve this design as well because um, I've used repeaters every here so each time you add one it, it slows it down even more but you can you can space these out two blocks apart from each other instead and that means you won't have to have these repeaters but that just makes the design unnecessarily large and there's not really much point then um, where this one's just more space saving. So then we come on to this design over here. And this is quite uh, a quite widely used design and just because it's fairly fast. And this is probably one of the better vertical, I mean, I mean horizontal designs out there because it's just it just works and it's fast. And the only downside with this is that it's just a bit complicated to build as you can see. Um yeah, it is kind of complicated. However, it does work fairly well. And from your input to your output, we have only one uh, plus another tick. So only two ticks in this design in total. And that's even for the other inverted ones. So the problem with this design is that the, the more um, bits you add, so say we add uh, three bits instead, well, even, even like say five bits, for instance, if this was a five bit decoder, it just gets um, unnecessarily complicated uh, with trying to root repeaters everywhere. Because, for instance, if we have two of these dips in a row, so I'll show you that real quick. Um, let's have our line going like this. And if we have a dip here on one of them, and then we also have a dip here on the other, um, these are our actual um, control lines, and these, um, the output lines would be either side, like this and this. Well, if we have this dip and we want to power both these lines, what we would do is we could place a repeater down like this but the problem is is now this signal instead of just activating this line and this line over here it will also go back into this one over here and activate this line even though this control line might not be active and that's um, a bit of a problem uh, for problem so when you have um, dips like this on your control lines it, this design is a bit harder to make um, there are ways to get around it but it's just a bit more complicated so then we have the vertical design and I really like this design just because it works well and it's fairly fast I mean it's only two ticks you have one tick here and another tick to invert it and um, it just works it's, as you can see we can um, plug numbers in then we have this design over here which instead of inputting the inputs vertically like this we have them vertical um, this one has horizontal inputs but vertical outputs where this one has horizontal, I mean vertical inputs, but horizontal outputs. So um, this one's fairly good as well, it just works. And I've used this one before in some computers, it, it just works well, and it's also only two ticks. We have this tick plus this tick um, for the inversion. So these designs are, I would say, objectively better than these two down here, just for the reason that um, they're very, very easy to build. Where this one's a bit more complicated, you have to fiddle around with like bringing your signal wires up a bit sometimes and these repeaters. 
Um, the speed benefit isn't really worth the hassle, where this I can build much quicker than that. And all I have to do to program it is either place a repeater if it's a zero, or a redstone torch if it's a one. So for instance, um, zero, the zero line would be repeater, repeater, because it's zero, zero. Um, the one line would be repeater and redstone torch, because it's zero, one. And, and you get the picture. It's, it's very easy to build, and the best part about it, because um, uh, the control line doesn't have anything on this side, is you can just build something on this side as well. You, you can build another um, decoder on this side as well. So it's kind of like a mirrored design you can do, which means that instead of, um, say you have like um, a set of registers maybe, and let's actually show you a design, uh, this one will do. Um, over here we can see um, some registers. We have um, a cell over here on this side, and we have the input to the cell over here, and the output to the cell over here. So, um, actually let's look around this side. And then, um, so these, these work quite nice because we just have one input and an output line. However, what we can do is flip this onto the other side and we can have um, inputs on this side and outputs on this side. And that means, um, so this design is basically mirrored on two sides. So that means we can get double the memory. And when it comes to um, when I make the um, decoders for this, instead of making a whole separate decoder for this one and a whole separate decoder for this one, and, and use two control uh, wires, I can use the exact same control um, bus or wires for both these because I can have one encoder on this side, I mean decoder on this side, and one decoder on this side, uh, making it just a lot better because it's just saving space really. So over here I have a example of where I've actually used these lines and this is just the um, ALU that I've been showing off. So the, this is just a, a set of um, registers that I've attached to the ALU and um, these are going to be um, dual read registers basically. Um, so eight, well seven um, dual read registers because we're also going to have a zero register on this design. So as you can see I've just really I have my control wires here and I also have um, some here and some here as well so we can get the dual read aspect and the way I've done dual read is um, I've, I've basically faked it I've used two um, so I, in, I've i used uh, 14 registers and two of the registers have the same address but you can address them independently however when you write to them it writes to both of them so that's basically a fake way of doing dual read registers that works just as well as dual read registers. Just means um, double your registers, um, which eh, it, it works. It's space efficient kind of, so I'm fine with that. But yeah, as you can see, I've just used um, these over here. And the best part about these is, um, especially on vertical designs, um, sometimes you don't always need to invert the output because your, your vertical um, line might not be inverted. So it, it works out very um, nicely. Of, of course, that advantage is also for that complicated one down there, the complicated horizontal one down there. You don't always need to invert the outputs. But um, yeah, the vertical one is just a bit more compact, I find. Um, another plus, um, at least only on Bedrock, um, unfortunately Java players don't have this yet, um, you can run um, these normally only work upwards on Java, so as you can see I have my outputs at the top here. However on Bedrock, they work, um, so Redstone can go both up and down on a glass block, which means um, you can always have um, your outputs on this side instead of uh, the top. So this works on both uh, top and bottom, at least on Bedrock. So yeah, most of my vertical designs now basically use these. This is just um, some I.O. ports that I've been designing. And as you can see, the vertical design fits quite nicely. We can easily add control wires to it um, using resting torches. As you can see, it's very easy to tell it to um, read or not, or write or not even, for this one. And yeah, they just fit quite nicely. And of course, we have a vertical control bus. So yeah, I'd highly recommend using these in your computer. And just, just because they are so versatile. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.